The Sunnah is dead. News reports indicate it was shot five times directly in the head while lying in its bed. Suspects all fled. Police have sanctioned off the scene. Yellow tape in effect. We pray Janazah on the Sunnahs that was killed by many men worshipping their desires. We lost the battle from within, satisfied with just less than. But the less sin was for less men to sin because without knowledge by Allah, we are the ones who are dead. So I apologize to Imam Bukhari. We will no longer be needing any of your volumes. I'm sorry to Abu Huraira. May Allah be pleased, Jazakallahu Khairan. But we are at the end of this deen. The greatest scholars have died and we are all that is left. A generation obsessed with Facebook likes and retweets instead. We spent more time on YouTube insulting people's mothers than standing in the night asking Allah to guide our brothers. Wife beaters wearing white beaters underneath white thobes and white sneakers where if you talk about racism then everybody gets amnesia because Everybody is a mufti, but nobody wants to study and we keep printing dawah pamphlets, but our character is so ugly, more religious than religion. We buy fatwas by the dozen, keyboard warriors want jihad, but they can't wake up for fajr. Houston, we got a problem. Ignorance is the new knowledge. We have abandoned the Quran, so it's only right the sunnah was to follow, but honestly, I'm surprised we even made it this far. But the way things are looking now, a Dajjal cannot be very far. So Khalas Israfil, just let it rip. The angel who's been waiting to blow the horn in anxiety of what it will bring. Let Qiyamah just begin. This dunya was fun while it lasted, but now our real lives must begin. Because it feels like this place has nothing left. And I don't wish for death. But what type of life is there to live when the Sunnah is dead oh snap we really done it now might as well just go off and hand and bleach the crown let us astray with camel hump lumps and more makeup than clowns and dirty movies on your laptop when you think no one is around the sunnah never stood a chance against Grand Theft Auto, boring uncles in the masjid, or America's next top model, romance fantasies, anorexic teens, and Diana Cream on TV, white skin rules everything around me, and our communities are nufsy nufsy, it's my culture, or my country, or my masjid politics is ugly, we can't even agree on the spotting of a moon, no wonder our kids are starting to think they came from monkeys, and I'm just speaking frankly, you can tell the FBI agents in the room that they don't have to handcuff me this dunya is a prison house says she got me locked down like she's trying to be my wifey so please don't incite me i feel like that man from surah yasin running from the farthest part of the town begging my people to please obey the messenger before we are destroyed in degrees odd with the mood and the people of loot don't let jabril get on the case the tip of his wing will destroy everything you ever knew but none of that will matter when Munkar and Nikir enter your tomb feels like the angel of death is watching waiting for me right outside this very room to rip the soul from my chest as I take my final breath la ilaha illallah but the sunnah is dead because nowadays they're calling for a new, progressive, liberal, modern Islam. Yeah, basically they want to modernize minds, be in line with the times of modern minds who don't mind being moderately blind, joining simple minds, talking out their behinds, no lie, treating this dean like an open buffet line, take only what you want and get fat off deception, Swiss cheese democracy, how come the devil wins every election, molecular, seculars getting called out like cellulars, call the editor, he is a predator who literally wants to shoot the messenger and kill off this sunnah once and for all but you can try and kill the sunnah but you can't kill us all so forgive me for what I said the sunnah is not dead it's just kind of sleeping 
or in a state of comatose instead because there will always be a group from those who believe who will clamp on to the sunnah with even their molar teeth like holding on to burning coal they will not sell their deen for any wager and as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said give glad tidings to these strangers so long live the sunnah may we always live by its rules because those who love the sunnah then Allah will love them too I mean, Jazakumullah khair and thank you very much.